Yo, 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 what's up, friend and family? How are you doing, guys? I think today you're doing well, guys. It's a beautiful day, and we are making money in our groups, whether in a VIP or public group of sent So, some signals, and people are making money. I'm happy. Some people are sending me messages saying, thank you, helping us. And I'm um, being motivated because we're here to help each other. So, guys, uh, this video is about you, friends who've been sending me message telling me that uh, the strategy every broker scared of is incomplete. So, today I just decided to make this video for you so you can know and understand how to set it up fully in a <clears throat> in a uh, in a full way, yes. So without wasting your time, let us start. You know, as always, we start with with uh, F sign. So now we're going to F sign and click to many chat. After clicking on many chat, we are looking for RSI, which is Relative Strength Index, which is this one. After just finding it, then click on it. We are going to our parameters now. We're going to use this period. We are making 1000, 1000. And then apply to, we're going to use close. And then when we come to styles, we are using one pixel. And the color, we're choosing white because we don't need any color from here. So, or oh, if we put any color, it will be visible in our levels which is not good we don't need it there so from there we're going to uh, create levels you can see we have different levels click to this pen sign and then just see what's happening the first level we have is 10 we have 20 we have 50 we have 90 8 7 and 30 so you know how levels are working i'm not gonna explain anything from here and i think you know this if you don't understand anything from this then stay, send me a message i will just leave a link in the description below then you will ask me what these um the descriptions are here for then i will just ask your message so after this then just click done go back and see now what we have here you see our levels here our level 10 uh he's level 10 he's level 20 30 50 70 80, 90. the way we just set it set them up and then after that we are going now to put uh moving averages now so we are going back to our F sign up there and click on it. And then now we're going to <coughs> click on indicator window one. Not many chat now. We are clicking at this F and plus. So now what we're looking for is this moving average. We are clicking on it and then we start with uh, period one. Just delete whatever is there on your moving average. Just put uh, put one. Shift it, put zero. A method use exponential. Apply to use clause. When it comes to style, use number four pixel so it can be visible enough. It's about moving average. The line that uh, uh, crossing over in the levels, and then use blue color. So you may use um, number three pixels up to, but I recommend you choose number four. So when it came to these time frames, don't change anything because already if you fix there, we have all time frames. Yes, you don't have to change anything. It's time frames all. So if you came here and click on it, you can see that uh, all time frames are being marked. Are being marked. So you don't change anything so if you are like let me let me say this if like you are unmarking this you know that strategy is going to analyze on one minute and five minutes the rest are unmarked 
Kati doesn't know they exist. That's why you have to mark them all so Strategy can uh, analyze each and every time frame. So click OK again and then just go to done, click done and go to your mini chat and you can see now <clears throat> you can see now that we have moving average that is moving around there. So we're going to put second moving average. We're going to there and then we are still using this indicator window one. Click on it. Look for moving average. So now here we're going to only change this number one to number two. Nothing else will change. We change this number two. Then click done. Then go back to uh, indicator window one again. Then click on moving average. Now we are not changing anything from here we are only changing number two to number three put number three and then click done then go to your main chart if you just zoom out you will see that we have three moving averages that are moving around so we're going back to um, our f sign and click on it and now we are still using indicator window one we don't need many charts so we are looking for moving average now here it is now we're going to change uh, number three to number four just choose number four don't change anything else just go back and check what's happening uh, go back to indicator window one and check moving average here is now we are choosing this on period number four we are just replacing this uh, with number five after putting number five don't change anything just click done and go back and check what's happening if, if you zoom out in your chart you will see what's happening now so we're going to moving average again we are clicking the same indicator window one and click the same moving average so now we are changing two things here we're going to change number five and color so this time around we are using number six and the color color we are using red red color then we go back to our main chart when you just zoom in once you can see once or twice you can see that we have already moving average that's moving around so we're going back to f sign indicator window one moving average now we are going to change only number six to number seven right then you click done and then click indicator window one moving average number seven to number eight click done Go back and get a window one moving average number eight to number nine <coughs> click done indicator window one again moving average number nine to number ten <coughs> now click done so if you go to your chart you can see that we have colors that are moving around which is blue and red and the red so now you may see what's happening when uh, this moving average comes and touch down there you may see that something happens <clears throat> when level is being touched always market will bounce back or, <clears throat> um, or when market comes up and touch level 90 you can see that it bounce back and come down so without wasting our time let's go back to f sign click on it go indicator window one we're still using this and then look for moving average now he's indicator wing i mean a period 10 change it to uh, period 11. so now come back down and look for color now we are choosing black color 
now we are clicking done and then go back if you zoom in you can see that one moving average color one is there so go back to indicator window one choose moving average just uh, <coughs> uh we are changing number 11 to 12 now 12 only this nothing guys we're changing here click done go back and get a window one go moving average uh change number 12 to number 13 then click done so go back to indicator window one uh moving average again change number 13 to 14 click done Go back to indicator window one. Go to moving ability. Just check change number 14 to number 15. All right, and then just click done and go back to your chat and see what's happening there. You can see if you zoom in now, we have three different colors, uh, which is blue, blue and red and black. So we are going to put the last, the last number one, uh, the last uh, moving average. I mean, I'm sorry. So we're going back to go to F sign again and check our indicator window one. Just press on it and look for moving average. Now we're going to change two things number 15 to 16 and the black to yellow so number 15 to 16 and black color to yellow i don't know what yellow looks looks like into your eyes but this is what i see as yellow according to my eyes then click done so when you go there already you see is on one yellow moving average but it's there you can see it <coughs> so now we're going back to Indicator uh, window one moving average. We are changing number 16 to 17. Don't change anything else. Um, to 17, yes. 17. Click done. Go back and get a window one. Click moving average. Change number 17 to 18. Click done. Go back and get a window one. Click moving average. Uh, delete number 18 and put number 19. Click done. So now we are putting the last one. Click and get a window one. Click moving average. Now change number 19 to number 20. Then click done. So when you are going back to... <coughs> um, to your chart you can see now that a uh, uh, strategy is clean and clear <clears throat> so without wasting your time you know what it is you know when when we say we are uh, taking a buy is it because we have this level that is being touched you can see like what happened here market went up and when it comes here, it comes back. It comes back down. But this is because it's a, a bigger time frame. So once you decide to to trade with a bigger time frame, make sure that you have enough capital. But once this market does this and touches here and comes back, don't close your trades. Because still it will go up no matter what right if you are using one hour time frame or four hours time frame or daily you know that if market moving up and maybe when touch this level it pulls itself back it's a strong pullback don't close your trades it's going back but still it will go up no matter what this strategy is how it works so for you who doesn't, who doesn't have a big capital guys i will recommend you to be using uh five minutes and 15 minutes because when five minutes touch here and comes and touch your level 80 we say easily 
when uh, it touches level 10 and goes back and touches level 20, it's buying nothing will stop it. Uh, with uh, maybe $20, $50, $100, you are safe to use 15 minutes. But if you have uh, uh, $400, $500, just use a bigger time frame so you can hold longer and you can make a good money. So guys, thank you for watching this video. I am sure uh, you will watch it and go ahead and hit subscribe and keep on sharing with others and just uh, click like. I've been receiving um, feedback of people saying uh, I was um, I told you by uh, I, I, I was, I was uh, announced this channel by someone else by a friend of mine. It's the one who just directed me to you. So I need you to help me.